It is really difficult to define the, the whole concept of this album in just 30 seconds, but if I were to attempt it, it's based on geometry and it's also the relational aspects of maths and numbers. Now the thing that maths and music have in common is that you can't see them, but you can feel them. And it's really about healing and perception and giving people a different way to interpret music and also the world around them. He sent an email explaining the whole thing and the whole research that he'd done and the whole concept um, for us to check out. And, um, and I was like, right, I've got a month to learn all the music, but also understand the whole thing conceptually. Uh, it was a lot to take on, but you know, what's life without a challenge? Um, playing with some of the best musicians in the world, so. If he was playing with some other cats, like, it might be really difficult and it might be a pain in the ass. Much like maths and numerology, music is one of the building blocks of life and a lot of the time we're completely oblivious to these laws, these laws of attraction, these laws of spheres. The ancient Egyptians talked about the harmony of the spheres and I guess there have been recent discoveries into the way that uh, a solar system level, a, a galactic level, that there are sound and the spheres and, and, and sound being produced, I guess, through vibration. Even the Earth itself has a very low frequency hum. So everything is, is vibrating and there is always sound around us. And the music has definitely helped me. Um, and I think if if people are open, it can, it can definitely change the world. It's one of the, the things that is able to do that. Music is everywhere. Music can definitely heal people in a bunch of different ways, like 1000%. It can alter the mood, and even if you don't feel like it's having a spiritual effect on you, it probably is without you even realising it. That's why music's the most beautiful thing in the world, like... Yeah, I see music as a healer for the mind, for the spirit, and... Uh, I know people it's given purpose to their lives, even me as well, you know. I have had, been lucky and had music as like a driving force since I was a teenager. And I don't know what else I would have done. So there is a different part of the brain in which music is processed. And more recently people have looked at improvising jazz musicians. And the fact that when we're in the throes of a great line or a great moment of conversation, it's almost identical to language, the same regions in the brain light up. So I think it does, it affects us at this visceral, almost molecular level. The limbic system within our brains, the medulla, the very, the most primitive reptilian part of our brain responds to rhythm and movement in a very charged way. So uh, that's what makes music really, really powerful for me. Because we're dealing with healing, should everything just sound beautiful and pleasant and be easy on the ear? And that's certainly an approach that I haven't taken, actually. I think given such musically sophisticated uh, collaborators that I have, that it makes a lot more sense to take uh, listeners along a journey, to be plunged into this world where at times you're being disturbed, at times you're being soothed, but all the time your consciousness should be expanded in some sort of way. So it is, it's almost like a feast, a party for the brain <laughs> in general, sound and, and music, and what we choose to do with that um, is I guess the joy, the power that we have as musicians.